I'm Greg D. Doug. I started working at a public policy think tank. I've met really fun, smart people working to solve big problems. I asked some of them if they'd come talk about their work and how good public policy makes the world a better place. And all they asked for in return was pizza. Oh, we're going to pick up Jeff Berkowitz. He's, uh, he runs a company called Delve. It's a public policy consulting firm in Washington, D.C. He's gonna take us uh, to a pizza place he likes called Il Canale. It's uh, in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. Hey, welcome to Washington. Oh, thank you. Good to see you. Good to go uh, eat some pizza. Absolutely. Talk some public policy. Nothing about it. It's actually freezing in Washington. So, we are here with Jeff Berkowitz. Jeff, your company is called uh, Delve LLC? Yeah, well, we just call it Delve. A uh, Delve, uh, okay. Unless we're filing government paperwork. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell me a little bit about um, what you do and what your company does. So we're a competitive intelligence and risk advisory firm, and our specific focus is on political and reputational risks, helping companies, industry groups understand and navigate all of the different stakeholders and policymakers to try and um, engage in free enterprise. So how did you get started with the, in this line of work? So I came up through politics and government, did three tours through the RNC research shop, um, and ran President Bush's research office at the White House, um, spent some time at the State Department. Uh, so my that was really my career was politics and government, and after my, my last tour at the RNC, I didn't really have a plan for what was next. And all of a sudden, you know, people were asking for, you know, research on, you know, we're trying to navigate these stakeholders and these folks are opposing our regulatory approval process. And the sort of, you know, I started to realize the kind of information advantage we take for granted when you run a political campaign or when you're in the political apparatus of government. Uh, to the extent corporate public affairs professionals recognized they needed those services, there wasn't really anyone built to provide it. So you just sort of saw that there was a need for that and a service you could provide these people. You know, if you're trying to engage in free, uh, in free enterprise, you're trying to, to engage in commerce, in today's day, day and age, there is so much uh, pressure from different sources and, and things are more digitized, activism is more professionalized, and it's also more globalized. It's a lot more complicated to navigate than just understanding who your neighbors are. The lens through which we view the world at, at Delve is really how do we help free enterprise. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the the goat of creating opportunity and prosperity for millions of people. Our clients are trying to do more of that. And how do we help them do so um, in a world in which it seems no good deed goes unpunished? You're kind of like at the uh, nexus of free market capitalism and public policy. You've actually found a, a niche helping people navigate these uh, difficult areas. That's Secret Service uh. in front of us. So, yep, motor yep. This we don't run into in Raleigh. <laughs> Welcome to Washington. <laughs> okay, so Jeff, we're going to Il Canale. That's a restaurant you've been to before. Um, would you say it's your favorite pizza place in in the area? It's definitely my favorite in Georgetown. It, you'll see neighbors. You'll you know there. It's certified Neapolitan pizza. So the, they come over from Naples and they the, they brought the oven. They import all the ingredients from from Italy and they make it the, the traditional way, it's just, there's just nothing like it. Yes, yeah, so we're at Il Canale uh, in Georgetown. It's a great restaurant, uh, wonderful gem in the community. Yeah. Uh, certified by by the Neapolitan Authority yeah. to make the best pizza in America. I saw that and it looks like they have like celebrity guests. Uh, they have all the celebrity pictures on the wall. Yes, they have they have Washington celebrities and real celebrities. So. <laughs> what are some of like the sort of biggest concerns that um, your customers have? So you know we're just coming out of the the midterms, um, you know, and, and going into. New, newly elected legislators, and I think the biggest challenge is you've got, in Congress you're going to have one in five uh, members is new, and, and across the country, 25% of state legislators are new. Particularly right now, coming out of this election, 
um, you had really was driven by the, these twin tides of populism and progressivism. Mm -hmm. You're having both voters and elected officials becoming more skeptical of, of how businesses operate, the role of, of major corporations in, in American society and life, and that's going to translate into policy in the coming yeah. sessions. When it's a concern of theirs that you're going to have new people, is it like, hey, we don't we, we don't have relationships with these people. We don't know how they're going to vote. You know, when you're in a you're in a complicated industry, and more industries uh, are falling into that category these days, as technology, science, you know, and the you know evolves, um, you it requires education to make sure that legislators understand how the laws that they pass and the scrutiny they bring on industry actually impacts um, you know opportunity and jobs for, for folks, what products are available, what things cost, um, you know, how, you know, how we can address, you know, challenges in society and you know, these complex systems, you have a bunch of newly elected folks that need to go through a whole education process and, and hopefully have some humility, you know, we mm -hmm. were talking about that in the car, um, in how they approach these things. Your clients would see politicians saying very certain things on the campaign trail and then they, those people win and it's like, wait, okay, so. Exactly, you saw on the left, you saw a lot of uh, folks running on the you know, inflation being because of big corporations profiteering, mm -hmm. um, you know, off the war, off the energy crisis, off all of these things, well, you know, we're gonna, you had people saying, we're gonna lock up, you know, executives for jacking up the price and profiting off the pandemic, profiting off the war, profiting all these things, mm -hmm. and not un understanding the dynamics of how these markets work before they right. do that. And what's right. really driving inflation, um, some of those policymakers own contributions to that in, in the right. spending and, and um, structures that they put in place. And then on the, the right, you've got this populism where, mm -hmm. you, you know, um, Corporations are starting to weigh in on a broader set of social and political issues. All right, so All right. Uh, Jeff, yeah, this looks great. But now, th tell me what these pizzas are again. So this is your traditional margarita, All classic right. with All your right. tomato and, and basil, your buffalo mozzarella, all imported ingredients, and then. This is this is for the spicy folks. Okay. Divola, it's a Calabrian uh, pepperoni. It's just a, oh. it's really a, just amazing. Um, and uh, you mentioned about job. Il Canale. They get all their ingredients. Um, they, it's all imported. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Even the oven came from Italy. It's, wow. Yeah, it's a real real legit pizza oven. That's why I love, love this place. Yeah. It's like a trip to Naples without the plane ticket. Yeah. So they've got, I mean they got the ingredients. They've got the facilities. They've got the people. Like that's that's it. I mean I can't think of anything else. What if there's something in the water or the air that's gonna mess us up? <laughs> oh, this is delicious. So this is, these are like large, you know, national or international corporations, and so they really could, if they wanted to, to get yeah. laws passed, they could do it in a particular state to try things yeah. out. Or advocacy groups that have, you know, unions or, mm -hmm. um, you know, different, you know, sort of progressive or populist groups that, that have particular agendas or views on policy mm -hmm. issues can find a place that's sympathetic to their cause gotcha. or where they've even helped elect a lot of those officials mm -hmm. to then push their their agenda through. The problem is even if their target is big tech or big oil, a lot of the times the laws they pass can actually have a bigger impact. Look at the supply chain, just the supply chain issues that we experienced during uh, you know, the aftermath of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, you, you can look at, at local zoning ordinances and some state laws passed in California that had a dramatic impact on the ability to get the, get ships into the port of Long Beach, let alone get those um, you know, containers offloaded, right? They had a local zoning ordinance, you could only stack so high, but then okay. they also had restrictions on um, uh, truck trucking companies and how, much, how, many, how many emissions there could be from each warehouse. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden you have a shortage of trucks and a shortage of warehouses to get those containers away from the port. Right. I mean, they're sitting there for longer and you can't offload the other ones. Right. So these, so these state and local laws can have a huge impact on our entire, not just the US, but global economy if they're not well thought out. Well, thanks so much, Jeff, for, for the pizza and for uh, for talking with us. Appreciate appreciate you guys having me in for the discussion. Always up for, for a little pizza and policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be back. We had a great time. Thanks again to Jeff Berkowitz. His research company is Dell in Washington, D.C. And big thank you to Il Canali in Georgetown. Amazing. 
And as always, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to the John Locke Foundation on YouTube. And we'll see you guys next time on Policy Pizza.